So Daryl, uh, firstly, you know, great to be here. Congratulations on the move. How happy are you to, you know, finally have your feet on the ground after what must have been a, a pretty whirlwind week? Yeah, thank you so much. And yeah, I mean, after after a pretty whirlwind week in terms of, you know, visiting my family and then, you know, making the move over here, it's uh, it's it's good to finally, you know, be settled in in terms of, you know, getting it back into training, you know, getting getting apartments, you know, getting everything sorted out. So it's it's, it's after a, after a week, it's it's great to finally be here and be you know grounded. Yeah, was it an easy decision for you? You know, when when you heard of Albion's interest? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think for me, it's always kind of it's been in my head to you know be be in England growing up. I'd always you know dreamed of playing here, and then of course you know at a club like this with history and you know opportunity to go to Premier League manager as well. You know, there were so many different factors for me that you know made the decision a lot easier. Yeah, and you touched on it there. I mean, your first taste of English football was was under Valerian Ishmael, of course, at Barnsley. Was he a big draw for you, you know, seeing that he was in charge of this club? Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, when we were at Barnsley, I mean, the club, you know, not just him, everybody there, you know, we did a good job to, you know, push up the table and do very well. Unfortunately, you know, we lost in playoffs, but still a very good run. And I think, you know, he was a big piece of that. You know, he kind of brings the best out of players. He, you know, his tactics, you know, while different, I mean, they get, they get the results you need. And I think for me as a player to go into a place where, you know, a coach is, you know, it's a coach you've already been with, you know, a system you've already been with. And, you know, he seems, you know, he seems to like me. I enjoy him as well, of course. So, you know, having that, having that on your back, you know, when you're going into a, a new place that you're, you know, going to be a little bit unfamiliar with, it's something great to have. Yeah. And obviously you, you saw the supporters for the first time, of course, at, at, at the Cardiff game. I mean, how nice was it to, to be introduced to them and, and see where you'll be playing? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think, uh, you know, already on social media, I'd already gotten, you know, tons of support, you know, tons of welcome. And, I, and it's been something that's incredible. So to, to be, on, be on the stadium and be able to actually, you know, see the fans, you know, for the first hand is, you know, incredible. Everybody, you know, clapping, cheering and stuff like that. It was, you know, it made me feel very welcome. And, you know, I was super happy to, to be out there, of course. Yeah. And, you know, the supporters will be all tuning into this interview. They'll want to know what kind of you know, player you are. If you were to describe yourself to anyone who maybe hasn't seen you in the flesh, how yeah. would you do that? Oh. I mean, obvious one. I think people say I'm powerful, but, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah, I mean, for me, you know, I I like to do the work for for other team for the other players on the team. You know, in terms of you know maybe you know making the run, holding up the ball, you know, even defensively, you know, anything. And you know, for me as a striker, you know, I always want to score goals and I want to win games. I'm a I'm a big competitor at that, so you know, I, I do anything I can to try and get the result. Yeah, and we're fourth in the table at the moment. Obviously, you've, you mentioned it there before, you know, challenging for the Premier League. Does, does that ambition the club have match yours as a player? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think, I think every single player, and you know, you want to be around competitors, being a competitor. And I think, you know, just being here for a few days, you can already see, you know, the level, you know, how, how much people want to compete for it. And everybody knows, you know, it's within reach. And I think with, you know, having that drive, having that, having that, you know, goal that you want, you know, it'll push you through the season and, you know, push you to be not only become a better player, but of course, you know, achieve those goals that you want at the end of the year. And obviously your goal record for, for Orlando was fantastic. Similarly, fantastic for Barnsley as well. How confident are you that you can, you know, score the goals for Albion and, and fire us up into the Premier League, fingers crossed? Yeah, I mean, for me, for sure, I, you know, I've told myself ever since I started playing that I was going to continue to improve. And I think, you know, from day one, you know, luckily with the teammates and coaches staff I've always had, you know, and myself, you know, I've always been kind of, you know, pushing myself and getting better and feeling myself getting better. So for me, it's just another step. And, you know, after looking at the squad, of course, seeing them, in, you know, at first hand in the game and everything, you know, I think the squad, you know, I'll, you know, I'll do whatever I can to push them. But I know that they have the players to, that we have the players to, you know, push me and, you know, to help the squad, uh, you know, get the goals that we want. 